Tommy Kono is an eight-time world champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist. In his third Olympics, uh, he was a silver medalist as a result, of course, of a knee injury. Uh, Tommy also was a 12-time national champion. In the national championships, he was the outstanding lifter seven times. He set 26 uh, world records in his lifetime, uh, was a three-time Pan American Games champion, and uh, <clears throat> also was involved in international physique competition where he won the Mr. World contest once and three times was a Mr. Universe. Tommy, welcome. Thank it's you. great to have you here. <laughs> and uh, I know that uh, it's been many years and over the years, of course, you've had some really wonderful experiences. But let's, uh, let's start at the beginning. Uh, you were born, of course, in Sacramento, California? Yes, I was born in 1930 in Sacramento. Okay, and uh, you're uh, what, what we call Nisi, which is a uh, second generation? Right. Like my, my, my parents were from Japan, okay. and they had settled in Sacramento, and I was born there. Okay. Um, unfortunately, uh, I guess there were some things missing in me when I was born, because although my three older brothers were very healthy and all that, I turned out to be quite sickly. I had eczema when I was a baby, and when I was two years old, I had developed asthma. And that asthma plagued me right throughout my grammar school days. And I missed about one third of my school days because of asthmatic condition. Now, uh, the interesting story is what, what cured your uh, asthma, of course, which is good and bad, so to speak. Uh, along came World War II, and uh, we uh, all know what happened uh, at that period of time. Uh, tell us uh, what well, that experience was. Yeah, was you know, like. um, in 1941, the war started and all that, and all the Japanese Americans all along the West Coast were evacuated and placed in a, what we do call, a relocation center. And I was up in Northern California, the whole family was up there, and but uh, the change of uh, environment and all that actually helped my uh, asthmatic condition. And I was there for a year uh, of, um, with, with the improved health condition. And my next door neighbor who had moved in uh, was a guy who lifted weights. And he was the one that introduced me to weight training. And although my parents couldn't understand how can lifting weights improve your health and all that, you know, but uh, uh, the idea was very sane because you start on a low level and you improve. And that was the idea. And my parents were opposed, especially my dad, he was opposed to me uh, lifting weights. And he even told my neighborhood guy not to teach me to lift weights. So, so what? Did you have to sneak on? Uh, I, I had to sneak around and lift weights. <laughs> but gradually I, I got stronger and I added some meat on my frame and all that. So by the time we came out of the camp, that was three and a half years later, and it was December of 1945, I had improved quite a bit in strength and in muscle size, you know. What was your father's reaction to that? Did he see the difference? Uh, well, when, once he started noticing that I had improved and all that, and I was able to participate in other sports too because of it. Mm -hmm. Like I, I played baseball, basketball, and all that. Before, I couldn't do any of that kind of stuff. So he accepted the fact that weight training was good for me. Now, and when you, when you first uh, started doing weight training, was it just like a general bodybuilding course, just mostly yep. bodybuilding? Mm -hmm. It wasn't actually Olympic <clears throat> lifting or anything, was it? Of course, in those days, they had the famous York course, okay. the full York course. Okay. And I, I followed a lot of the basic principles involved in that. And so it was a total bodybuilding program. And I also did a few lifting because that was included oh, as okay. part of the thing. But when the war ended, and we came out of camp, um, I couldn't continue it in training with weights because nobody had barbells. So to keep myself active, I became involved in the Church Basketball League. And the Church Basketball League led me to the Sacramento YMCA. 
And I remember the first day going into the Sacramento YMCA, I started hearing clanging of barbells in the basement. I thought, hey, this place has barbells. So I got sidetracked and I started getting back into weight training again. I, I got some money and was able to enroll in the Sacramento YMCA and I started to continue again. And um, after about a year or so, um, I was going to accompany a friend of mine to a weightlifting contest. He was quite a good lifter. And because Sacramento had a small team, they said, why don't you lift too since you're going to the meet? And I thought, yeah, since I'm going, why not? So I trained for two weeks to get in good shape for lifting and all that, and I competed. And I came in second place. I thought, man, this is it. Of course, there's only two of us lifting in our class. So. <laughs> It's either first or last place, <laughs> but it was second place. But that whet my appetite, and from then on, I really started concentrating on Olympic lifting. Now, do you recall what, what lifts back then? Of course, it was three lifts, the press, snatch, and clean yeah. jerk. You know, I had, um, my first lift was, I think, 175 press, okay. and one, I think about 180 snatch. And the clean and jerk was 225. And these, of course, were in pounds. Right, these are in pounds. And, and how much did you weigh back then? Were you? I, I weighed about 146 pounds. So you lifted in yeah, what I they was called in the what lightweight, they call climbing lightweight climbing class. class. Right. At that. Now, how old were you at that point when you first uh, first competition? I was, I was a senior in high school. So you were about so I was, 17? Uh, 17, not quite 18 yet. Okay. That was my first contest. It was March of 1948. Okay. And that sort of changed my whole attitude about weightlifting. I thought, this is a sport for me, because when I get out of high school, how am I going to continue if I was in other sports? You know, mm -hmm. I couldn't do that. I thought, with weightlifting, I could do it by myself, or with time. a group of people, you know, and I don't need a whole basketball court mm -hmm. or five other guys with me or anything like that. And so I thought, this is the ideal thing. I'm going to really plunge into it, and I did. Now, when, when you, back then, so you're 17 and uh, lifted in your first contest and, so to speak, the weightlifting bug bit you, all right, and you knew this is what you wanted to do, um, how, how many times a week did you train back then and where did you train? Yeah, all my training was done at the, Nuanua, uh, the, the Sacramento YMCA. The Sacramento YMCA, right. Okay. And, um, you know, in those days, hardly anybody rode bicycles and all that, and I had to because couldn't afford a car and all that and commuting from my house to the YMC was so far if I took buses and all that it'd take forever okay so I resorted to a bicycle how many miles was that I mean, roughly it roughly it was about four miles okay but nevertheless you know Good the warm bike up, huh? yeah <laughs> but I I would take the side street because uh -huh. I didn't want anybody to see me right. ride on bike in those days it was those balloon tires and all right. that Sure. <laughs> you know, it was like a, for kids and all that. Yeah. And I was a senior in high school and it was embarrassing, but that was the only mode of uh, transportation that I had. So I used to bike over there, chain my bike up, and then train at the YMCA and then bike home. And this was how many Three days? Three times a week. Three times a week? Okay. Yep. Uh, it was usually Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometime I would go Saturday too. And how, how, did, how did you train back then? What specific exercises did you do? Uh, Basically, the, of course, the three lifts. lifts. Okay. It was the press, the snatch, the clean and jerk, okay. and the squat was important. Okay. And I would do bodybuilding too because okay. originally I started in with the idea of trying to improve my body and all that. So bodybuilding was always back there, okay. you know, and I guess that's one of the reasons I did pretty well in the physique contest afterward too. Now, uh, the important point is, which is quite interesting, I think, to uh, many of us, did you have any coaching at all? Was there someone there to... No, you know what? Weightlifting, uh, weight training in general was so new, okay. very few people went into it. Okay. And so, uh, when it came to Olympic lifting, hardly anybody knew anything about Olympic lifting. So, it's sort of from... Uh, competing, asking questions with uh, other lifters, reading the Strength and Health magazine, uh, Ironman magazine.